It's hard to be a teenage girl anywhere. It's hard to get your period no matter where you're from. It's way harder if for reasons that are cultural and financial and logistical, you don't have the sanitary supplies that you need. Once you feel fresh, it is obvious you feel confident. You cannot afford to buy them sanitary pads or the Dawn or the deodorant, right? So it is better that you get it at school so that you run away from all those boys that tell you I'm going to give you 50 rands. 50 rands is just nothing compared to your future. sanitary napkin. That pad means that month at least they stay in school. They get to go to school every day and feel clean and feel exactly as they want to and continue to learn. And the next month and the month after that and the next month. And the more months we give these girls to just be who they are and be their age and keep going and tell them that we believe in you, we want you to do this and we're going to help you along the way, the easier it is to imagine that path just continuing for an infinite amount of space. In 2012, the enrollment at that time was 117 students. 20 of those students dropped out. In 2017, there was a remarkable change. We had an, an enrollment of 248 students, only six dropped out. And then this year, we have an enrollment of 300 students, only two so far have dropped out. If you are engaging in a relationship, as a woman, are you in charge of the relationship or is it a man? This goes back to the healthy relationship thing. Mm. We are both supposed to be committed to the relationship, you see, so that you can also have your say, you can also have your say. Every time I go on a trip with Red, I end up spending time with young girls. And the one thing across the board, all over the world, no matter what the details of who they are or where they're from, girls are awesome and powerful and resilient. Mm -hmm.